angels welcome back to a daily dose of love for you a reading of affirmation confirmation and synchronistic alignment of a message that's meant to find you that you have manifested because this is just one synchronicity out of many of a particular timeline so what is this your confirmation of within your reality we're going to be playing a card out <laughs> you guys we're gonna be putting a card out the sacred forest oracle the card that just fell to the floor was enlightenment forest temple this is very magical energy you guys with the number 19 as well it's quite interesting because the enlightenment brings forth this energy of like the sun card illumination clarity your heart chakra awakening and guiding you along your path to live enlightened, to live lighter, to live feeling lighter from the discoveries you're making inside yourself. And why I said it's interesting that it brings through sun card energy, but the number is 19, because 19 in traditional tarot is actually the moon card. The moon card is about confusion, illusion, and the subconscious. So you see, you're becoming lighter and enlightened by living lighter through working through your subconscious, understanding yourself in deep and deeper ways. You guys have met yourself to a very, very deep level. And this is almost like a pause or a checkpoint um, with the forest temple that you found um, because your cup is refilling. Your heart space is refilling. This is your emotional sense of resource, your emotional replenishment, how much emotional energy you have to do things. When we're in higher frequencies, we have a lot of inspired energy. We have a lot of creative energy. We have a lot of excited energy to feel out and be curious and follow particular paths. So you guys, you have been working through your subconscious and you're gaining back a lot of lightness to your energy by being on this path that you are. You are on the path of the enlightened walker again. To live enlightened just means living lighter and lighter being the weight of emotions we carry and frequencies. You are releasing shame, doubt, fear, and you're replacing that with courage, trust, surrender, and this sense of support from your higher self and the divine because with the enlightened path as well i feel like you guys are, have reconnected to your deeper soul nature of your true power as a co-creator here as well you guys with this temple path that you're going to this pausing point where you're being refueled you're about to enter a new chapter and walk through this doorway as you walk into this temple you find that you are no longer in the place where this temple resides in fact this temple was a portal space it was a portal space for you to transcend into to enter the next phase of your journey should we see what's in the next phase of your beautiful journey look at that bottom deck energy of trust you are flowing with trust in a miracle. You are flowing with trust. Crystals are highly significant. Also this green energy and seeing glitter for some of you or glittery kind of things. Some of you might be getting synchronicities now and moving forward, culminating of glitter, golden glitter, um, silver glitter, just sparkles and glitter in general, or maybe like twinkly fairy lights. There's something about um, how this is a timeless reading, but if you watch it around the time I'm posting around Christmas time, there's a lot of magical energy here for you this winter. There's a lot of magical energy you're harnessing from the collective because the collective becomes lighter as well at this time. Why do people believe in miracles more around the holiday season? You know, even you know, not everyone celebrates Christmas, but a large part of the collective has this lightness come over them in the holidays. People are more compassionate, more empath empathic, um, more considerate, you know, some sometimes. But this changes the collective frequency, you guys. And there's something about you receiving miracles, um, moving forward and being on this path that you're on of the forest temple and the crystal cave. You are receiving and attracting miracles, you guys. Waterfalls, rainbows, and butterfly synchronicities. This is number 13, the death card, which is all about death and rebirth, you guys. You have been expanding your limits of what you feel is capable and trusting your path, you guys. Trusting what can fall into your path. This miracle is something that's literally falling into your path. Like, it's hard to explain, you guys, but it's almost quite literally something falling into your path. Like, something 
falling into your path or in front of you or just out of your control into place with this miracle card yeah so look out for rainbows and this was not 13 actually it was 31 not the death card but that goes down to four which is the emperor right let's clarify this with a couple tarot cards you guys this miracle energy that you are manifesting into your reality we have queen of pentacles something that you're uh nurturing this is a very abundant energy as well there's like good vibes she's like cleaning cooking you know cuddling her baby this is like a, a mundane energy that's not mundane it's actually full of abundance you guys there's this energy you're going to be sat in and that's why you're pulling these miracles towards you it feels like such a gratitude or an abundance around you of hopefulness and gratitude especially around the things that you have been pouring your time effort and energy into you guys the queen of pentacles is the nurturer of the material realm so this can be about miracles happening and coming into your path when it comes to nurturing something that you're nurturing this could be business wise she's polishing a pentacle you know again with that glittery energy that golden energy is an energy that is radiating out of your aura right now and that you're attracting this golden light frequency let's see Yeah, we have the Six of Swords and the Empress. The Empress, again, all about attracting to you, pulling into your path and about how you could be uh, nurturing something that has been in the background. There's a lot of energies that have been in the astral or in your mind that moving forward are going to be coming into play in the physical, you guys. When you birth this, like some of you have like talents and gifts that you're going to birth into moving forward. Or this is also like projects laying in the background that are going to birth into creation and create some sort of positive progression forward with the Six of Swords. This is about mentally moving to the next level. You know, you've defeated, it's like new levels, new devils. You've defeated these devils on the last level and the devils were actually with the Six of Swords mental. These were mental fears or doubts or complexes that would run in your mind that you had to work through. And now you've been freed from those and you're walking up to this infinite energy this eternal energy okay yes right so what else what else with the empress and then uh queen of pentacles you guys there's also an energy coming through of like mothering or um yeah there's this energy of mothering or like parenting or like queen of pentacles and the empress are very similar energy so that could be related somehow. Like you guys have embraced your divine feminine energy to nourish and nurture yourself, right? And this is what's been healing you and allowing you to move forward mentally into this energy of miracle and lightness. Ten of Cups, you guys, are you kidding me? Ten of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Cups is complete emotional fulfillment. It's the end of the cup cycle. Ten of Cups is after the Nine, which the Nine is wish fulfillment. Ten of Cups is a sustainable, overflowing cup. It is when you guys have learned to pour into yourself and become the overflowing fountain instead of pouring into others. And because you're pouring into yourself and becoming this overflowing fountain of energy, you're having so much energy moving forward to put into trust, to put into yourself, to put into your journey, to put into inspiration, to put into nurturing or nourishing something. And you are getting a lot of re emotional reward back from this moving forward, especially Especially from some type of opportunity that you are going to gain, reach, or attain. The Ace of Pentacles, yes, can be about finances. It's about material opportunity. So new beginnings, especially when it comes to um, like your passions or what you're pursuing or what you're already nurturing or growing. You're stepping up to a new level. This card can be like moving forward. You get some type of promotion or increase in um, salary, but it can also be increase in happiness, increase in the emotional fulfillment you feel like you're getting from your path. I feel like for some of you moving forward, you're going to really start to see the fruits of your labor paying off. And yeah, you're really going to start to see the fruits of your labor paying off and have these miracles aligned for you. Yeah, wow, look at that. 
the what is that the eight or the nine five six seven eight of pentacles this is about hard work determination something we practice or we're practicing or something that we show up for or dedicate ourselves to every day whether this has been on your enlightenment journey you know dedicating yourselves every day to inner work and believing in yourself but for some of you this is an actual craft or something physical uh work wise or passion wise that you have been pouring a lot of dedication time and effort into you guys and with the star card bottom deck energy you are starting to see or you will see the fruits of your labor pay off you have star card energy meaning hope optimism and that you are feeling guided along this path and assisted along this path with the miracles especially in the star card you're leaving the energy of like feeling like you have to go at this alone you guys you understand that you were divinely supported and that's why you're co-creating miracles into your journey with these actions and inspirations you're taking that are divinely guided to you wow so that is your reading of affirmation confirmation beautiful souls and that is a very very powerful message expect to see these miracles and expect to feel yourself feeling lighter expect to fall into this energy of trust and have these secret kind of downloads and all the synchronicities you're finding this sense of hope refueling itself because you put so much dedication into this whether that's mental dedication emotional or physical or all of those you guys you deserve these miracles that are coming and you're being reminded to trust that you, these miracles are coming because you are on the forest temple path of enlightenment which means to live lighter to ascend to levels of reality that some people have not perceived or experienced yet that are kind of out of our limits of comprehension but yet you are going to be making these and materializing these into fruition i love you so much and i will see and speak to you all in the next reading and message mm -hmm.